Hello. This short video will show you how to invite an outside participant. This is someone you might want to invite in as a guest speaker. Uh, and you would use this method if you wanted to bring people into your, um, your web conference who aren't normally part of your class. And so they wouldn't normally have access to the link that your students will or other co-teachers might. So in order to start, you are in a session now and you're the moderator and you can go up to the tools menu and there's a little command called in session invite and you're going to do something called invite new participant. Now this will allow you to uh, either send an email from your default email system if, it, if you use an email system on your computer that you're using or you can simply copy and paste this link right here uh, to uh, another email um, application. You can also use this handy little uh, button called copy link. That's what I like to use. So I'm going to click the button copy link. Now it's copied to the clipboard. I'm going to go out to my e my um, uh, email application. I'm happy to use uh, uh, the Outlook web, web application. And then I'm going to click on new message and I'm going to invite uh, the other participants I want in this session. So I know uh, one person I want to invite to this session. So I'll type their email address in. Um, I'm going to do a sim simple subject as a link and I'm just going to paste uh, the link in there. So now when this person receives this email address or this email they should have this link and that should be a live link that they can use to access uh, the course. So I'm going to click send and there you go. That's uh, inviting them. Once they get the link they should be able to log in uh, with absolutely no problem. Now when the person you invited gets the link in their email, um, there may be uh, one or two things they have to do. Uh, now they should be able to just click the email, like I'm clicking now, and that should open up the Blackboard application. And it's going to ask them to, to type in their name, and sometimes it asks them for a password. Now the password is something that is actually part of that email link. So if you look in this email link, if you look at password equals, everything after the equal sign is part of the password. So if they, if they get that situation where the password isn't, isn't um, automatically put in there for them, they can just select all that information after the equal sign and copy that to their clipboard. And then they go in here and they type in their name. Uh, I'm going to just say invited, invited uh, participant. Oops, I guess I should type it right. Participant. And I'm going to just paste the password in there. And then I'm going to click log in and then I should be able to log in to uh, Blackboard no, no problem. In some situations I've seen where it, the password is embedded in the link and it automatic, the computer you know, processes that automatically, um, in which case I just have to add my name. In this situation it asks for the password and so I, I figured out that uh, you have to copy and paste it from the link and there I am. Now I'm in, in the session.